the Chinese room are back with a brand new title that takes their walking sim pedigree and turns it up to 11 on the horror factor. The Chinese room are most famous for their walking sims, Dear Esther, and Everybody's Gone to the Rapture. This time round, in Still Wakes the Deep, they are tackling something a little more visceral with their take on a horror story on a derelict oil rig. You play the role of Kaz McCleary, a washed up family man in the 70s running away from his problems in the hope they'll disappear. After a brawl back in Scotland puts a man in hospital, Kaz takes the chance to follow a friend to an oil rig in the North Sea. It's not long until his mistakes come back to haunt him, and he is sent packing back to the mainland to answer for his crimes. Unfortunately, before he has a chance to leave, the rig has a breakdown, and it's left to you and the crew to figure out what happened. It's from here that the story picks up the pace and descends into a John Carpenter-esque horror story, with something being woken beneath the waves that will leave you running for your life on more than one occasion. I love the premise of this story. With a focus on the 70s and a Scottish everyman as a lead character, the Chinese room have created a believable story of a crew locked off from the mainland with no sign of escape. All the character interactions feel incredibly believable, with a focus on regional slang to help breathe a fresh sense of life into each conversation. Kaz truly feels like an imperfect protagonist, and this is all helped with the voice acting and storytelling throughout the game. It's a pile of shit! Gameplay wise, the game leans into the unnerving environmental scares rather than full on action horror vibes. As you try and make your way across the rig that was falling apart before the incident, it is now a death trap, with one false move leading to you hurtling into the waves below. The majority of the game will see you traversing across narrow pipes, making perilous jumps, and more all in an attempt to rescue your crewmates and escape. Armed only with a screwdriver, you'll be able to replace lift fuses and unscrewing vent covers as you make your way from one section to the next. As you're playing a down on his luck oil rig worker, don't expect to be the new action hero. There is zero combat in this game, and as you make your way through this death trap, you'll be doing everything in your power just to survive. We're talking hiding in vents, throwing pots and pans as a distraction and doing everything you can to avoid being seen. The game design is something I want to call particular attention to. The oil rig feels like a living, breathing place and is a testament to the amount of research the Chinese room have done in designing this game. Each area feels like a working part of the rig, where the barren but clean living quarters give way to pipe filled boiler rooms and water pumps. Each area feels incredibly well designed that while helping to facilitate the story, never felt unnatural in its placement. Graphically, this game is stunning. From the physics of the water crashing against the station, to the lighting and level design, each area is meticulously designed for the perfect level of uneasiness. The character designs are also great, with the character models all feeling unique and believable. I've been as vague as possible about the threat in this game, but if you're a fan of movies like The Thing or The Abyss, then this game is for you. This game does a fantastic job of tapping into the unnerving dread that these movies captured, and I cannot recommend this game enough to horror fans. The only issues with the game are the runtime, which came in at about three and a half hours, and a lot of obvious signposting throughout the game. Every interactive grate is painted yellow, as are the pipes and wiring leading you underwater. If you dislike climbable surfaces being painted yellow in other games, you're going to have a field day with this one. Score wise, I give this one a 7. The script and voice acting are incredibly well performed and help the game feel grounded while the rest of the subject matter takes on an otherworldly feel. The level design and graphics are superb and really make the location feel alive. The game was shorter than I expected and the signposting made it almost impossible to get lost, even if I wanted to. If you're a fan of walking sims, 80s horror and Scottish people calling each other wee gobshites, then this just might be the game for you. And until next time, happy gaming.